So if you are like me and you have an unquenchable fetish for microcontrollers and everything else electronics related you might have, at some point in your life, ordered some sketchy stuff on eBay that you probably don't really need. A few weeks ago, I was looking for an STM32F103C8 blue pill development board and found a super cheap eBay listing and like the idiot that I am I ordered one immediately without even stopping to consider the less than two euro price tag. Pay close attention because this is the part where I screw myself over by being a cheap bastard. When it arrived, the first thing I noticed was that the boot one jumper was missing and the boot zero jumper had one pin less than usual. But other than that, it looked identical to the real thing. So I got to work and started programming it. But all my effort had been in vain. No matter what I tried, the board either couldn't be uploaded to or it uploaded but wouldn't start executing. Many a hour later, I deigned to look at the model printed on the chip. It was the wrong microcontroller, F030C8 instead of the F103C8. Worst of all, this specific chip was not listed in the available board's selection provided by the conventional STM32 Arduino library that every online tutorial uses. And there was no tutorial for programming the F030-based blue pill anywhere. But I found a way to make it work. And even though this microcontroller isn't as powerful as the one I wanted, it is still worth using. Here are the necessary steps. First, you have to download the STM32 programmer from ST's official website and install it on your computer. Second, you have to add the bin folder from the programmer installation directory to your system path. Then open the Arduino IDE, go to File, Preferences and copy the URL from the description into the Additional Boards Manager field. After that, go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager and install the STM32MCU-based boards package. It is a fairly large package, so it is going to take a while. To interface the board with your PC, just like with the standard blue pill, you will need to connect an FTDI breakout board according to the schematic on screen. I made myself this header that I soldered to the board so I don't have to fidget around with connecting and disconnecting wires all the time. Once the IDA recognizes the port that the breakout board is connected to you can select the appropriate board from the drop down menu. To start programming disconnect the boot zero jumper and reset the microcontroller. Then press the upload button. Once uploading has finished, reconnect the boot zero jumper and reset the microcontroller once again. And that is all, it should be working now.